because I eavesdropped and listened to him on the radio yesterday. Brad Gilley, I know there's been a lot of talk about the the new setup for the short tracks. This was the first time we saw it on display. I want your assessment, not not what other people think. What did Brad Gilley think of the new less is more short track package? My assessment is I felt like I wanted more. When when people start talking about this, hey, there's going to be less downforce, or really not less downforce. It'll make downforce in a different place on the race car. And as a result, Goodyear is going to bring a little bit of a thicker treaded tire that's going to put more heat in the tire, and it's supposed to cause it to wear a little bit more. And we're going to see drivers sliding around and moving through the field and all of that. And I don't feel like we got that on Sunday. I just don't. I think there are a lot of good things to the race, and I get that this is the first time out. But whenever you start talking about something and you're selling something to someone and it doesn't deliver, I think there's a little bit of a letdown there. Alexis? Yeah, I think this wasn't maybe the best place to to to, to get a read on this package. Um you know, I, I'm going to look more towards Martinsville, towards Richmond to kind of see what this package can do. Phoenix, in my opinion, hasn't really given us a whole lot in, in the past several years. I mean, obviously, we have our championship races there and they can be exciting because of the story within the story of, you know, four drivers running for to win it all. But as far as Phoenix goes, it, clearly they are fans first. They know how to sell out. They've sold out like six races in a row, I think, and, and the fans keep coming back, so they're doing something right, but I just don't necessarily know if it's the product on the racetrack. Was it maybe marginally better? Sure. Um, but I need to see more. I need to see it at a traditional short track, your Martinsville, your Richmond, before I can really give you an assessment on what I think this package has done or can do for, for short track racing in the future. And I guess I should explain why I don't care about talking about this because i think most people's <laughs> eyes glaze over when you start talking about yeah, changes on the car that i can't see they're more interested in the paint scheme what the driver had for breakfast than they are about the, the undercarriage fan, of the sure. race car yeah yeah, yeah. L- listen i think i think i think it's it's our fault um and i mean this industry the media, the, the, hour, the media the yes. media i think yes. it's the media's fault that we have made this sport so technical for fans because we just throw stuff at them all the time. We throw shock bumpers and, you know, and tire compounds and all this stuff. Hey, we don't, how's that football helmet made, man? How's that? How do don't they make care. that? How do they make that football helmet? You know, this one, this is my, this is my big game football helmet. And this is my, this is my, I don't care football helmet. Yeah. And, and we just throw different things. You know what I'm trying to say? But the thing is, and, and I agree with Brad, I agree. I first, I think we oversell and underdeliver always when we make a change like this. It's always oversold. We've got to understand we didn't get to where we are in one change, and we can't get back to where we want to be or where they think we want to be in one change. There has to be incremental. I think there were positive signs to this. We didn't see a lot of it on the racetrack. The two things that I thought were positive signs were Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin spinning out which shows that the drivers have to drive these race cars now. If the tires are going to wear out, if there's not as much downforce, it's not a stab and steer, point and shoot. It is make something happen with your car. Make it drive good. Make it do something. So I think those that's a positive sign for me. Uh, when two drivers of that caliber, it gets out from under them. They lose that just, just for a minute. But I do believe whatever we're looking for, whatever we're looking for, if you think you didn't see it, and I'm going to go out on a limb here, if you think you didn't see it at Phoenix, you dang sure ain't gonna see it at Martinsville or Bristol. I'm, I'm just because it is the the it's that you can't see a tenth, you can't see fifteen one hundreds, you can't see that kind of thing. It's got to be a big step uh, before we start before fans start to see it.